say it with me. Sup? Zoe. It's known as the happiest place on earth, where families can go to have fun, feel safe, and forget the problems and stresses of the real world. Right. Disneyland and Disney World. However, despite the general public's awareness, there is a very long list of accidents, many of them fatal, that have occurred at the Disney parks. These are six instances of tragic accidents that have happened at Disney parks. Right. Number That's one. Creepy music. In 1996, Mickey's Starland was renovated and reopened with a new cartoonish look and the brand new name Mickey's Toontown Fair. This is the smallest of the seven lands in the Magic Kingdom and is basically an area designed for the younger kids visiting the park and is the best area for meeting characters. Of all the attractions in Toontown, Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin is the most popular, but also the site of one of the most gruesome accidents in Disneyland's history. <laughs> Four-year-old Brendan Zucker, who was seated in the far right side of one of the taxis, fell out of the car while it was in motion and got caught underneath the car behind it against the tracks. Oh my god. You're killing me with the sound effects, Mo. Like, you're killing me right now with the sound effects. Come on, Mr. Nightmare. Jeez. Ooh. All right. Them sound effects be getting to me, yo. God. All right. He suffered severe leg, arm, and spinal injuries. Oh, my God. Cardiac arrest and brain damage as a result. Shockingly, Disneyland staff did not call emergency services for a full five minutes after the accidents. Rather, they notified Disneyland security first instead, as that was actually company protocol at the time. Oh my god. This incident led to Disney changing this policy. While Zucker did survive that incident, he never fully recovered and died at the age of 13 in early 2009. Dang. That's a really creepy, I don't like that music. Number two. In 2003, Marcelo Torres, age 22, was waiting online along with countless other thrill seekers for one of Disney's most recognized attractions, Thunder Mountain, not imagining that he would be riding the train to his death. Marcelo was seated in the front car of the train, right behind the fake locomotive. The ride was climbing through a tunnel when the locomotive lost the assembly that carries the rear wheels, causing the car to strike a tunnel roof. The first passenger car then ran under the airborne locomotive, killing Torres. The impacts crushed his chest and head, causing mm. a very graphic death oh my and a God. traumatic and painful memory that the passengers behind the car of the train are likely to never forget. <clears throat> Number three. Tom Sawyer's Island is an artificial island in the Magic Kingdom, surrounded by the Rivers of America. Disney refers to the single artificial river as the Rivers of America because the waterway that surrounds Tom Sawyer Island is meant to represent several important rivers in American history. The island references Mark Twain characters with various structures and caves. The only way to get on and off the island is by a small wooden raft. In June of 1973, when two kids missed the last raft of the night off the island, things took a hellish turn for the worst. 18-year-old Bogdan Delarat and his 10-year-old brother were on Tom Sawyer's Island, and they didn't have intentions of leaving with the group on the raft. Staying overnight on Tom Sawyer's Island seemed like a thrilling idea, at least only for a few hours, as staying on the island alone soon proved to be boring. So the two brothers decided to swim across the river without alerting anyone to their presence. Uh -huh. A serious flaw in their plan was not considered until tragedy struck. The younger brother did not know how to swim, so his older brother attempted to carry him on his back while swimming to the shore. He made it only halfway across the river before giving out and falling below the surface. Where was everybody else at? See, that's that. The younger brother was saved by a ride operator, but Bogdan drowned and his body was not found until the next day. That's 
crazy. Number four. Disneyland's monorail is the quickest and best form of in-park transit, and having debuted in 1959, it's been around a long time. In fact, it actually opened just four years after the park's opening. Just seven years after the monorail's opening, however, in 1966, a terrible, easily avoidable accident took the life of a high school student on his graduation night. The high school student was a 19-year-old senior named Thomas Guy Cleveland. Thomas was trying to sneak into the park by climbing onto the monorail tracks. Two security guards spotted Thomas trying to climb up the tracks and despite their constant warning yells telling him to get off and that there was a monorail coming, he either ignored or didn't hear them. He was subsequently struck and killed by a passing monorail. Oh my god, ah, ah, mm. ah, oh, god, ah. Number five. The sailing ship Columbia attraction at Disneyland is a full-scale replica of a ship built in 1773 called the Columbia Red Aviva. The attraction allows guests to wander freely around the massive replica as it sails around the scenic rivers of America. It's supposed to be one of the more calming and relaxing attractions at the park, which makes this accident just that much more tragic. This accident also marked the first time a visitor died at Disneyland without any personal faults. The accident had nothing whatsoever to do with the guest and everything to do with those of the park. There was a rope fastened to a metal cleat on the hull of the ship when it was docked. As it turned out, the cleat was not strong enough to actually halt the ship's forward momentum. It was only strong enough to hold the ship in place while people got on and off. The problem was that the staff member responsible for docking the ship was never given the proper training for operating the boat. As the rope pulled against the cleat with the boat in motion, it tore loose and flew straight to the line of people waiting to get on the boat. Mm. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. The cleat struck three people, an employee and two visitors, killing Lonfi Dawson and severely disfiguring his wife. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Who put that man's, who man's is this? Who put him in charge? Number six. America Sings was an attraction at Disneyland that opened in 1974 and closed in 1988. Mm. It featured a showbiz pizza type cast of audio animatronic animals that sang songs from various periods in America's history. That's dead. It was similar to the Carousel of Progress in that the whole seating area is part of one big carousel and when the carousel spins it moves the audience to different sections of the show with different animatronic characters. In 1974, the first year of operation for the show slash ride, an employee was killed while working the attraction. Deborah Stone, who was only 18 years old, was a hostess at the time, and her job was to greet each guest who entered the attraction. She had just recently started working at Disneyland in order to help pay for her college tuition. After ushering a new group of people into the ride, she got too close to the theater wall as it began to move. The moving walls started to crush Deborah against the stationary section of the stage. Everybody in the carousel could hear the gut-wrenching screams, and some could even hear the sickening sounds of bones cracking. Oh my God. But by the time the ride was stopped and help arrived, Deborah had already been crushed to death. The scene was one of the most graphic Disney had ever seen to date. Oh, oh. These are only a few selections from a long list of incidents that prove that even the so-called happiest place on earth is not immune to disaster. If you have any suggestions for future videos, or if you've heard something in the news or even just seen a video, something that would make for a good video, feel free to send me an email. That's crazy. That is so good. See, oh my goodness. You would think everything is all fun and games and it's all kitty and 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 and, and family friend, friend friendly. No, anything can happen at any given time. Like I don't care what you say. Like no, mm -mm. like y'all already know I don't like Chuck E. Cheese, right? 
I don't like it at all. At all. No percentage. No nothing is given towards Chucky. Right? I would go to Disney World, Disneyland, whatever, um, before I would go even think about um, going to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, my God. But if I had the option to go to Disney World, Disneyland, I, I probably wouldn't. Um, just saying that that Disney, what is this? What is, Disney World, really, and Disneyland. I be thinking like Disney World and Disneyland are, are the two are are the same thing. I just don't know what separates them apart. Um, but nevertheless, I've <sighs> Disney World just creeps me out. And when I say Disney World, I'm speaking for both Disney World and Disneyland. So Disney World just creeps me out, and yeah, it's creeped me creeped me out for a long time, not just recently and not just now. But it's, you know, like, oh, my God, yo, that's crazy. Like, I can't even, like, when I when I die, I want to go as peaceful as possible. Like, I don't want to suffer. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go through any pain. No, nothing. Just make it quick and easy. Um, you know, I, I want to live, I want to live a long life, but just... Let me go, like, 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 no pain or like as 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 little pain as possible, because I don't want to go through all of that, man. Bones crushing, you, you know, you 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 burning to death, you freezing, you freezing to death. Like, I don't want to go through all. I don't want to go through no torture, suffering, no. Just make it as painless as possible. If you can make it, no pain. Great, that'd be that'd be great. Um, but I know I'm not the only one. Only I know I'm not the only one that thinks what I'm about to say, because I've seen all of the Final Destination movies, and if you haven't, you should highly check it out. Um, it may, you know, it, it, it if you haven't seen it, right, and uh, if you if you want to see it, I. Consider this that I like, 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 like before you see it, it may, uh, it may make you think about roller coasters and and highways, you know, and, and certain things, um, a lot differently. Um, yeah. So I'm not. I know I'm not the only one that thinks this, but like, whenever I go like to an, to an amusement park, like Hershey, her, her, like I was about to say Hershey Kiss. Um, like Hershey Park or King's Dominion, Six Flags, whatever, um, Disney World, wherever, wherever, right, wherever there's our, like, roller coasters and rides. I know I'm not the only one that thinks about Final Destination before I actually get on a roller coaster. Like, I like, I love roller coasters, but, like, in the back of my mind, in the back back, I'll be thinking about, what if, like, a, a screw comes out? Or, like, what if, like... Like, you know, a water drop lands on the on a track, or it lands in like some like some wires or something. Like, like one drop can end it all. I'm just saying, like that's just my mentality. I don't I'm, I don't mean to scare y'all if I did, but like, you know, it's just certain things that I think about. You know, like every time I. Every t ever, ever since I've seen the Final Destination movies, every t and plus including airplanes, but um, every time I, I every ever since I've seen the Final Destination movies, I've I've always thought about stuff like that, like because they make it. So, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie though, like some of the deaths in Final Destination don't make any sense, and it's kind of silly, silly and funny. But some, like some of them, you know, they're. They they are really believable. Like the uh like the highway scene with the with the uh with the, with the logs behind the truck, that's believable. Like like one of those belts or rubber bands can just snap off. And they yo, those logs <laughs> cluck that you every time I drive and I see like a truck with like like on the back of it, it's like it's like it's like it's like open and you can see what's in it or like you can see what's on it. Right, it's not covered up. 
I'd be like, nope, I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the next lane and I'm speed speeding the hell up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Thank you, Final Destination, for you know, scaring me and you know, uh just putting fear in my eyes and, and all of that. Um but you know, nevertheless, I I still do those things. I still go on the airplanes, roller coasters. Um, I drive on highways and, and stuff like. That. But I'm very cautious. Now I'm I'm very smart about what I do. So, yeah. But like every time, every time I I ride roller coasters or or airplanes or anything like that, where I'm like where I'm I could possibly risk my life. I always think about the Final Destination movies like. Like, oh my god. But, um, look, if there's any other, um, Mr. Nightmare videos that you, that you know I haven't seen yet, please, please let me know that in the comment section below. And if there's any, like, horror videos that's, like, related to Disney World or Disneyland, um, or, like, anything, like, that's, like, similar to this, um, like the one I did for, like, Chuck E. Cheese, and stuff like that. Um, just let me know that in the comment section below. Because I will be looking out for them. Um, I love I love stuff like this. Um, but yeah. Like 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 any horror videos. For like Six Flags. Or 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 amusement parks. Or you know. Just, just horror videos in general. But like, like things like horror stories. That's like similar to this. If you would recommend that to me in the description below or on Twitter or Snapchat, Instagram, and wherever. Just let me know and I'll be sure to check it out. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy. And I still got my popcorn. Hey, I love you, my family.